Welcome to this message. Here is a verse in the Bible that could impact the rest of your life. Let's check out the key words to get a fuller understanding. The wages of sin is death. A wage is the pay you deserve for your work. It's the result of your efforts. Sin is basically doing a wrong, immoral actions or thoughts, times of being bad, selfish choices. We've all experienced sin. Now, death in the Bible often means some kind of separation. In this verse, it's referring to a spiritual separation from God. So, the wages or result of our sin is a separation from God. In grammar, the word but means that a sharp contrast in thought is coming. Just like the first part of this verse was the bad news, what follows is the good news. But the gift of God is eternal life. Remember, wages are earned and deserved. On the other hand, a gift is getting something free. Let's say you get picked up for driving 105 miles per hour. They impound your car and take you straight to the courthouse to face the judge, who just happens to be your dad. He loves you dearly, yet he judges fairly and punishes the guilty. He sentences a fine of $1,000 or three months in jail. You have no money, so the bailiff starts to take you away. Your dad, the judge, says, wait. He removes his robe, comes down to you, and holds out a check for $1,000. It's there for you to accept or ignore. This story gives us a feel for the word gift in this verse. Getting something you didn't earn or deserve. This gift is from God himself. It's of God, not of somebody pushing it on you, and not of your own efforts of being more good than bad. It's only of God. Eternal life is the gift, a full and meaningful life now, as well as going to heaven when we die. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. The way we get this gift of eternal life and bridge our separation from God is through Jesus Christ. Just like the judge left his bench, so God came down as Jesus Christ to die on the cross to pay the penalty or fine for our sins. The offer is ours to accept or ignore. If you want to accept his offer, just pray the following in your own words. I admit that I have sinned. Forgive me. I believe you died on the cross for me. Jesus, come into my life. I accept your payment. If you prayed this prayer, not only have you secured a place in heaven, you now can freely talk to him about any of your needs.